I don't know if many people know about this. They may and um, just not have reported on it. I don't know. But Judge Doro allows a suspect two days to go to jail. Instead, the man attacks family, police say. Um, an Oak Creek man accused of stabbing his in-laws in Illinois had been sentenced to jail the day before in Wisconsin. However, a Waukesha judge running for the Supreme Court, which she lost, allowed him two days to report. Michael Liu, 36, was supposed to report to jail by December 2nd to serve four months for a domestic violence incident over the summer. Judge Jennifer Doro sentenced him on November 30th and allowed him two days to report. He decided, um, I'm trying to find you, here we go. According to Will County Sheriff's Department, uh, Facebook post during those two days, he traveled from Oak Creek to Creek, Illinois to exact revenge on his soon-to-be ex-wife's parents. On December 2nd, he fired shots into the home of his ex-wife's parents and broke into the home, stabbing the 66-year-old woman. The 68-year-old man intervened and was stabbed as well. The man defended his wife, stabbing Liu an estimated 17 times. According to law enforcement, all three are expected to survive. Wisconsin, Wisconsin court records show two days earlier he was in the Waukesha courtroom facing eight counts of domestic violence related charges after an incident with his family over the summer. According to the criminal complaint, one of his children was crying and he threw or he grew frustrated. The complaint says he threw a magnetic block across the room. Then he's accused of charging at his wife and yelling at her. The complaint says he punched his wife in the shoulder and she took the children into a room. The complaint continues saying Lou forced the door open, took a hammer, and smashed one of the children's iPads in the hallway. According to the wife, there is a history of domestic violence. The complaint says it had been going on for at least the last eight months, dating back to December of 2021. According to the incident, a 72-hour no-contact order was in place, so he was not legally allowed to contact or be around his wife. The next day, a family friend contacted police after Lou made concerning statements to them, according to this person. The complaint states, he said something similar to, I'm going to kill one of the kids and me. When the police confronted him about the statement, he said he was joking and did not mean the statement. The complaint goes on to say when police contacted his wife, she said he tried to call her multiple times, which would be in violation of the no contact order. A neighbor he was staying with called his wife and asked where the family's handgun was located, the children's birth certificates, and social security numbers. He was charged with eight, eight different counts for this incident, including stalking, battery, disorderly conduct, criminal damage to property, and contact after a domestic violence incident. On November 30th, he had a hearing where he pleaded guilty to three counts of battery and contact after a domestic abuse arrest. Judge Jennifer Doro, who is, yeah, she lost. Uh, she sentenced him to four months in jail with work release and probation. Uh, I think that's bullshit. After all the records of him abusing this family and she gives him two days to report. And not only that, four months is not shit. He terrorized his family for over eight months and probably before that. But she allowed him two days to report to jail. It was the next day the Will County Sheriff's Department and Liu said Liu traveled to Crete, Illinois, where his in-laws were injured. 
Judge Laurel's campaign team provided the following statement regarding her decision to allow him two days to report. First off, my thoughts and victim, my thoughts and prayers are with the victims for a speedy and full recovery. In this case, I sentenced him to jail despite it being his first offense. It's unfortunate he did not report to jail as ordered and instead went to Illinois. Well, that's kind of a crappy ass statement if you ask me. Waukesha County District Attorney Sue Opera says Doral's sentence was twice as much as the state recommended in this case. I don't care. Four months is not shit. I don't want to hear it. Opera says the state requested 60 days in jail rather than the 120 days Doral sentence. Well, he should have gotten a year at least, two years, maybe three years, something. And I just, this is, this pisses me off beyond belief. But anyways, uh, rather than I, okay, as for the two days to report, Opera says the state and the victim did not object to it. Does that matter? A lot of victims of domestic, domestic violence won't uh, say certain things because they're afraid. So I'm sure that's what happened here. It's always in the court's discretion and we have the ability to object. Opera said, but with the record we had at the time of sentencing, he was doing quite well on bail and in counseling. So there wasn't anything for us to think he'd abscond or create a risk. Uh, he threatened them with a gun. Duh. Thank God they didn't die. I don't think it reflects negatively on her character. Jane Geske, retired state Supreme Court justice and current professor at Marquette Marquette, whatever that is, University's Law School said, these are decisions tough judges have to make. Geske served as a judge in the Milwaukee Circuit Court for 12 years. She says these kinds of decisions, like deciding if a guilty defendant should be given, times before, given time before reporting to jail, are weighed heavily by judges daily. And you guys can read the rest. This is just pissing me off even more. More or less, people are, um, you know, um, coddling her, I guess. I don't know the right way to say it, but that's what they're doing. And do you think that after these few months or whatever it is, or whenever he gets out, he's not going to go back and try to kill them? Uh, if they're not dead by the time he gets out, I, I wouldn't trust this man. Yeah, he went on to hurt other people. It's not just other people. It's his wife's or ex-wife's mother and father. Do you not get that? And this is all the rest you guys can read. I'm just disgusted. I can't even... You know, look at all this, yeah. But anyway, there you go.